ooh, look at this hotel room that I can't wait to stain up. I have this medical condition where I have forever grubby fingers. My heritage is English, Irish, German, and trash monster. Hi guys, my name is Grace Helby. If you did not know, now you know your life is different now. It's a stream of consciousness vlog today uh, because I'm in Cannes, France. Wanna see it? Okay. Look at this beautiful view. <gasps> Whoa, that's France, y'all. Can you see it? I hate myself. And we're back. When I do natural lighting for videos, my eye makeup, there's always like a shading. Is there a room next door with the biggest water bed of all time? France. Anytime I use natural light, it always looks really great, but then the shading, there might be a water park in the room next door. I'm not sure. I swear I put an equal amount of eye makeup on, but a lot of times you guys like to comment on the fact that one eye looks like it's got more makeup than the other eye, and it's because my eyes are crooked. If any of you follow me on social media, you might have gotten some hints into how... <laughs> I think there might be a school of clowns working in the room next door on their pratfalls. I don't know. France. If any of you follow me on social media, you know that my journey to get to France was not easy. Let me walk you through it. Story time. <gasps> Is this a story time video? I'm not Gigi Gorgeous, but I wish I just had a little bit of her essence. France. So last week, I took a friend to Medieval Times because they had never been before, and I lost a bet, and I, the consequence was I had to um, take a friend on an adventure time and so medieval times and yes I did post a video not long ago of going to medieval times in New Jersey for my mom's 60th birthday Going to two different medieval times on two different coasts in the United States in two weeks is not sad because it's not three times But I was in Toronto doing a YouTube event after medieval times with my mom and the event in Toronto was directly next to the medieval times in Toronto So but I didn't go so I have self-control only in the going to medieval times in my life everything else in my life I'm just a Crab the consumer. We went to medieval times, had a great time, mind was lost, reality blown, fun times had. They went to a, a restaurant across the street to have some drinks after the show, had a bunch of drinks. The restaurant was closing, we took an Uber back at like 12.30 at night to Los Angeles, made it back totally fine, wake up the next morning, did a conference call. I had a car coming to pick me up at 12.30 to take me to the airport and take Mamrie to the airport. The car was supposed to take me and then pick up Mamrie because she was coming as my plus one to this can excursion and we were supposed to go to the airport. I start packing, everything's going well, I'm packing clothes that kind of make sense for the first time in my packing career. Spoiler alert, they don't. I'm here. I went to Zara five minutes ago because I don't pack correctly, even when I think I am. It's like 12.20, the car driver rings my doorbell, says he's here. I say, I'll just be another 10 minutes, don't worry. I'm packing everything up, just finalizing, getting my tech and all this kind of stuff. Then I pick up my backpack that I had with me at Medieval Times. I open it to transfer the stuff in that backpack to my travel backpack, and everything is there except for my wallet. I'm an extremist. I either live on slightly sad, distracted, a little depressed, procrastinating street, or wild, reckless, messy, impulsive, irresponsible street. I don't spend much time in between these streets, but I do spend an awful amount of time playing an invisible accordion. I'm very good. I pack my wallet on irresponsible street. I put every single thing, my passport, my medical cards, my SAG after card, my credit cards, my ID license, my passport card, everything that's important to me in that wallet. So when I have it on me, I have everything I could possibly need and I don't forget anything. But when I lose it, I lose everything. So I start frantically looking for my wallet. I can't find it anywhere. I call my friend who was with me the night before. He doesn't have it. He calls the restaurant. They say they don't have it. I'm trying to get in touch with Uber, which by the way, if you ever try to get in touch with Uber, it's like putting a watermelon up your butthole. It's very, very almost impossible. They make it impossible for you to call them a lot like me. So I'm spending forever trying to figure out how to get in touch with my Uber driver, which was so difficult and makes me understand how people must feel when they want to contact me about important business related things. I'm sorry, business related humans in my life. Karma. I talked to Mamrie letting her know that I can't find my wallet, I don't know what to do, the car is out front, I don't know what to do. I talked to my agent, same thing, I don't know what to do. But I do know how to cry though, so I'm doing that very well at this point. Mamrie ends up getting an Uber and going to the airport just in case I find my wallet and I'm able to meet her there. I call the restaurant again just to see if someone else would answer, maybe knew more about the wallet, and they say no. Cut to the sad realization that the wallet is 
gone. And this is not a shining moment. I mean, none of this has been a shining moment, but this particularly, I was so depressed, I didn't know what to do, I just started slamming red wine at noon. <laughs> that is not the way to handle your problems. I don't even normally drink red wine, it's just there, and that made it even worse. So I was just like wallowing and washing myself in pity and sadness and guilty and irresponsible, and that's always a fun metaphorical shower. And the only shower that I had had in like three days. <laughs> Maybe ends up going to the airport, but you have to check in two hours before an international flight, so she misses her flight. They can't find more flights for her. She ends up having to take another hour and a half Uber back to her house because she couldn't come with me, which sucked. And I'm still very sorry, Mamrie. I owe you very many cocktails at very many bars. I will live up to my word. Once I get new credit cards, because they're all gone. So I ended up having to go to the federal building the next day and wait there all damn day to get a same day passport to try and get on a flight at 7.15. And I actually met some of you guys there at the federal building also getting your passport. Not my ideal setting to have you meet me, but thank you for saying hi. You all were very nice and I hope you all got your passports. It took me a very long time to get mine. Line after line after line after line. I mean, it was like, coked in. There were so many lines. That's not a good metaphor. It was like Disneyland. So many lines. Family friendly entertainment here. <laughs> However, I got a new passport. That's not the face of a psychopath that would definitely lose her wallet with all of her important possessions the morning before an international flight to an event that has already been internationally publicized. No way! This is a responsible human. You too can get photos like that at a FedEx right near the federal building in Los Angeles. And the karma continued a little bit because I had a connecting flight uh, in Frankfurt. So I flew from Los Angeles to Frankfurt and then Frankfurt to Nice and on my first flight that was like 10 or 11 hours I had a middle seat which gives me anxiety if I don't travel with someone I know on either end and also the US men's polo team was on the flight. So just like six foot four to six foot six Clydesdale-esque human men scattered throughout the plane, one in which sat directly in front of me and decided that he needs to have his seat reclined the entire 10 to 11 hours. So, I deserved it. If any of you out there have my wallet, go f yourselves. I mean, I should be more responsible. Well, I guess that's it for this video. This is supposed to be a stream of consciousness, but it's just a story time. Look at me, I did a story time. <gasps> Am I participating in YouTube trends? Not for long. If you guys like this video and you like story time videos for me, give this video a thumbs up. I don't do these very often, but maybe I should. Let me know. Leave a comment down below. And subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button. I make videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Sometimes, unless I lose my wallet and have to spend all day crying in shame and then standing at the federal building. You know, it happens to the best of us. No, it doesn't. I don't know. And I'm here in Cannes for Cannes Lions, which is this advertising and marketing festival that I've been to a couple years ago. I actually got to speak on stage yesterday with Laura Dern about traditional versus new media and marketing and how that all fits together. And she is an absolute wonderful angel human being. Like, I want her to know that I like her, but I don't want her to watch the beginning part of this video in which I very much admit how awful and incapable of a fraggle trash human I am because I don't want her to have that impression of me. 